So here's the old steering wheel, and it's in pretty fair shape, at least the leather's in fair shape. The uh, plastic, that's a whole nother story. Now there's a couple different ways that we can attack this, uh, in particular when we're talking about the plastic. Uh, you can always buy replacement and be done with it, but we're going to try something a little bit different and refinish them first and, and see how it comes out. If it comes out acceptable, then we're good to go. If not, then uh, we'll go buy something that's, that's different. But this is all about learning how to do things uh, ourselves and uh, making something look good but be on the affordable side. Now, in this case, the tools that we're going to need uh, will be a, a trim tool, just a small one to uh, help pry these off. And then in my little bucket here, I have a couple other things that we're going to use. Uh, the first one is going to be a Leather Pro uh, leather and vinyl repair kit. So this comes with a few different things. I guess it doesn't show inside. Yeah, it gives it a, see if I can get this in close here. I don't know if you can read that or not. But uh, it's going to come with colors, mixing cups, um, paper, grain paper, fabric cloth, wiping pads, uh, sandpaper, sponges. So uh, just all the things needed to repair the leather itself. Now I'm going to use a little bit different technique in fixing the leather. So I'm going to use some super glue and the idea of using the super glue is wherever there's uh, damage I'm going to put the super glue on it then just before it dries I'm going to take sandpaper and sandpaper the leather so that leather will actually slough off and go into where the super glue is making a I guess you can want to call it a super glue leather patch and uh, we'll see how that uh, looks so here's some of the sandpaper that I have here as well. We've got 3000 grit and there's uh, 120 grit. So I've got a number of different grit sandpapers out there. Of course, uh, to repair the plastic, the sandpaper will be uh, the primary thing that I use. I'll be using the 120 grit and just working my way down uh, because if you take a look at the steering wheel, let's see if I can show the damage here. You can see the discoloration looking like heat damage. Then you can see the scarring here as well. Uh, in particular, all over here, it's all scarred up really bad. Where on here, a few nicks, nothing really bad. If you look at the, the top and right hand side, it's uh, a few little dents and then you can probably see some wear lines along here which is kind of weird uh, I don't know I don't think it's from the hand but rubbing against something I don't know if somebody had their belly up against it I, I really can't tell but otherwise this is a great steering wheel um, you know it's the, the uh, cruise control works the the leather is actually it's on really well it's still supple there are some wear uh, marks on it and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and repair all that and see what happens uh, if I can't what I'll wind up doing is basically rewrapping it like I did in video number two of this series so let's start out here and let's get uh, some of these covers off and really just get underneath I think you should be able to see that and twist and it should pop right off. There we go. And as you can see here, it's just uh, little nubs. Let's see, can you see that? Uh, yeah, there we go. Get some reflection in there. Just four little nubs. Not much keeping it in place. So it's actually fairly easy. Little pull and off it comes. Let's get this. And that's the last piece. So let's bring that up close and see the damage to this one. Yeah, there you go. You can see that's that's pretty bad there. So that's the easy part. 
Uh, looking at this, everything else looks really good. And we'll do the leather after we do these. So let's get on it. I'm going to reset things, get this wheel out of the way so we can start on this particular piece. Now that I have things switched around, it's time to start working on these pieces. I'm going to actually work on the most severe one, and I've decided to go a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I've got my orbital sander, my electric orbital sander, so I'm going to really go at it. And I'm going to start at 60 grit, and this is a used one, so it's worn off just a little bit. Then from there, I'm going to go to a 100 grit, and then take it down to a 150. After I get to that, if the uh, results are satisfactory, then I'll move over to here, and I'll take it all the way down to the fine grit that I had mentioned earlier. So with that, let's get this on. And of course, I'm going to speed things up. I'm going to put my hearing protection on, turn off the microphone, and um, we're going to have at it. Let's make some noise. This is good for the 60 grit. Um, I got rid of a lot of the damage. Well, actually, there may still be some there. I may have to do a little bit there, a little bit more there, a little bit more there. But the discoloration, I definitely got off. Um, as the finish comes off, there is some texture to it. So hopefully as I, that actually looks like an aluminum metal, even though it's plastic. That's kind of cool looking. Gee, if I could get this effect for the whole thing and then clear coat it, that might actually look pretty cool. And we'll see how that, uh, that works. So let me do a little bit more at the 60. I think the grid is holding out just uh, pretty good here. And uh, let me get my hearing protection back on and get this puppy started again. we're about there there's still some spots that are still smooth but I think I'm gonna stick with the original plan take it down to smooth and see what happens so let's move on to the 100 up oh, I'm sorry the 100 grit and see what happens interesting looking. Um, it looks like brushed aluminum. I'll be darned. I may have a change of plans. Uh, I may get a fresh 60 and try and scuff up um, a couple of these other areas. I may try and do it by hand. Uh, as you can tell, I put this on slightly off center so that I could curl in some areas and hopefully get into some of the more finer areas, but cool. I think I'm onto something here. Um, whether I refinish it after this or not, but I can't tell if you can see it or not, but it's sparkly and uh, kind of cool looking. So let me keep working on this and uh, see what happens. And we'll see what the results are. Let me throw a, 
a new 60 on and see if I can scuff it up a little bit more. And a good morning to you. I've actually decided to spray paint uh, black and as you can tell I'm outside and um, I'm using the onboard microphone so the sound will be a little bit different but I'm going to use some uh, Rust-Oleum. Uh, this is the non-reflective finish and depending on how it comes out I may wind up putting a clear coat on top of this but uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'll actually spray paint one uh, for the video and then at the end you'll see uh, the finished result of all three. So let me go ahead and uh, shake this up and uh, speed this thing up so you can see how it all works. After shooting four coats of flat black paint, I think we are done. Uh, let me give you a close-up view of what this looks like. I actually think these came out really, really well. Uh, professionally done. Now, I have not put any clear coat on it because my fear is, is that it would give it a shine, which I don't want. So I'm putting these out in the sun so that they can actually bake in the sun. So hopefully that'll harden uh, the four layers of paint that I put on this. But overall, I'm very pleased at how these came out, changing them from that ugly silver uh, to what I think is a more contemporary looking black. Just to give us an idea of what it's going to start to look like in place. Now, I didn't mount them uh, completely. I still need to have them cure, but on the steering wheel, you can now get a good idea what it looks like. The next part that we're going to do is we're going to start refinishing the leather here and um, see how it all starts to come together and uh, hopefully in the next series of videos we're going to take this somewhat worn steering wheel. Let's see if you can see that. Um, you can see how it's, it's lost, lost its shine and there's some scratching and pitting in areas. Not too bad, but it's lost its texture and I think that I can bring this back quite easily. I'm going to start with uh, the cleaning and then take it from there. But that'll be the next video and uh, we'll see what all happens.